Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here of KW Bonsai. Today we're re revisiting our ficus that uh, the top of it got too cold in winter last winter and it died off. So we did some work on it cleaning up some of the areas on the last video. We cut the dead section off the top hoping to get more sprouts coming out of it and it hasn't done a whole lot yet. Uh, it's just kind of swelled up at that cut point. Here's a close-up of that cut point. So yeah, it, the wood is still solid in the middle and it's got kind of a almost like a expanded collar where we cut it. So I, I think it probably will sprout there eventually I'm thinking. But uh, I guess we'll see. Anyway, all the other branches have grown really well in the meantime. Uh, I did cut off, there was a big long branch coming off this side, I cut it back, keeping some better branches. Today we're going to be weeding it, cleaning up the structure as best we can, before we put it outside for the summer, just kind of giving it a spring cleanup. We'll start by weeding and picking out all the dead leaves that have fallen down, trying to get as much root as we can with our weeds. So they don't grow back in. Uh, the reason this tree has so many weeds and moss growing on it is it was placed in the corner of the plant room here where I can't really reach it too well. And it was just in a growing phase so it's just been allowed to grow. I've got the tree all cleaned up. It's weed free. Cleaned all the dead leaves out of it. I'll just rotate it around so you can see how it's grown. You'll see from this view this is the side that was facing the window in the plant room. And you can see it's just a massive foliage on the sunny side. So I think when the tree gets outside, we may get some more growth coming from that cut point. That's what I'm hoping anyway. And you can see the side that wasn't facing the window is a little sparser. This has always been the front of the tree because it had the nicest root spread. But when you're forced to restyle a tree like we've been trying to do here, uh, you have to keep all options in mind. You have to keep all options open, you know. Maybe the front will change to somewhere here because of this branch growth on this side. If nothing sprouts from here, we may have to cut that off and blend it in. Uh, our deadwood is getting quite soft here from last time. We'll just have a look at that. We're going to try and clean some of that up. It's just, you know, gone quite soft and kind of like balsa wood. It just flakes away. So the root, this air, thick aerial root here did survive. It's, it's callousing over around this point. But yeah, this is pretty soft here. It'll just rot away to nothing eventually. Uh, it will, this dead wood in the, you know, the heart of the tree, roots from this adjacent area, it can't form roots inside a hollow tree like this and uh, keep the tree really healthy. You see this on some hollow trunk trees where the heartwood rots away and then it starts growing roots down the inside of the uh, hollow trunk and eventually they fatten up and it uh, you know creates a new a new trunk a new solid trunk so we'll see if that happens with this one we're going to tackle some structural pruning now on this right hand side we've just got a mass of shoots coming out where I cut that kind of tall branch off and we got a simplify that otherwise we'll end up with like a big gnarly ball here instead of a branch so we're going to look at that and see what we want to keep and what we want to get rid of so here's a close-up you can see we've got so many branches so we're going to cut off all these ones growing straight down for starters it's nice to have lots of branches for choices but uh you can't have 
a million branches coming out of one spot on the tree. Now we have to decide which ones we want to keep. I think we do eventually want to get our tropical tree crown on this tree. So I want my upright branches to stay to develop a crown higher up than this lowest branch here. So I'm definitely going to keep this one growing upright here. So I'm going to get rid of this other one here. That's next to it. And probably a lot of the other ones. I think, you know, we'll just keep probably one or two branches. And the rest will go. There's another upright branch behind it here. If you can see that. Right here. So we're going to keep that and some of these other ones coming off it. They all look pretty good. Got a big branch hanging down here. We'll get rid of... I like hanging branches from the canopy that hang down, but not... We're trying to rebuild this structure to an upright structure, so we don't want all these horizontal and hanging branches. So I think I'm going to get rid of everything except... <clears throat> except these branches here. I'll just trim this back one a bit. There. So that section's cleaned up. We have two small branches coming off here, another one back here, and I'm going to clean out this inner branch like that. So we've got the start of a structure on this side. We want to do the same thing on this side to start cleaning up our structure. We've got a lot of branches that are hanging straight down here that we can get rid of. We want to keep our upright structure that's forming. Getting rid of all these hanging horizontal branches here. Well, so here's a horizontal one we can get rid of. That's got that structure cleaned up there. So next we want to go up top. Up top we're just going to prune it back lightly. Doing a little directional pruning. Just to get the height of the tree down and create some more branching in this area. And hopefully we'll be on our way to forming a new canopy on the tree. Some of these shoots I'm just pinching the, or cutting the tips off just to get some ramification. I think that'll do. The last thing we want to do is clean up some of this moss that's growing up the roots here. If you have moss growing on your roots you won't get that same texture and you know, the same kind of bark on the surface roots. It'll be a darker color and it won't blend in with the trunk line. So that's why we want to keep the moss off our, our surface roots. We may have to scissor prune some of this moss down. It's getting kind of thick. We've got the moss pruned up and our roots cleaned up pretty good and the tree I think is ready to go outside. When you take any tree from indoors to outdoors you have to be very careful. All these indoor leaves because they're not used to full sunlight they get kind of you know full sunlight through the windows but the windows filter out a lot of the a lot of the sun's rays so they don't get the intensity of pure sun outdoors. So if you were to put this straight outdoors on the bench it would just burn all the leaves. Um, it probably wouldn't kill the tree, but it could. So you have to be very careful. Uh, what I do is I, I take the trees outside and put them in the shade for at least a week. And then I move them to an area where they get morning sun and evening sun. So they're getting a little more sunlight. And then finally, after another week of that, I'll put them out in the full sun. And even doing that, you'll still get leaves burning. I mean, these leaves were formed indoors, so they won't survive very long outdoors. But it gives the tree a bit of a transition time. And then when it grows new leaves, they'll be outdoor hardy leaves. They'll be smaller and tougher and less delicate than these indoor grown leaves. Our restoration work on this tree continues. We'll uh, be growing it a lot in the summer trying to get 
a pleasing structure. It's going to be hard because right now we have sort of two branches and a lot going on. So it's going to be a long, long road to getting this tree to look nice. But hopefully we'll get the time. So that's it for today. Nigel Saunders of KW Bonsai. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.